name's Joy Walmond. It used to be Hunt when I lived here. And lived here when I was uh, in 19... Oh, I've forgotten now. 1934 to 1947. And I spent my childhood here doing all. The your yard was busy than that because we used to play at the far end. The yard would go to the end of that wall. Yeah, yeah, it does, definitely, definitely, because we used to play in a big area, you know, it was a big area. Yeah. In the end, it's a children, she used to be behind there, all along there. So we used to sleep downstairs. Right. Most nights during the blitz. Okay. And um, I can remember, all I could hear was this, this wind, there was a wind, and the, the blankets and things that came across the Anderson Shelter entrance just blew out. And we didn't know what it was at the time, of course, but then, of course, we realised it was a, a landmine that had dropped right, across there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. He moved, they moved him from here, not, not from the house, but his position as gardener here. They moved him at one time for about, I think it was two years, to Kenwood. They wanted a gardener there and he was surplus, I suppose, here, or they could spare him from here. He went down to Kenwood House, so I was walking with him because he was taking a shortcut through the park up to the top um, to get a bus down to Kenwood. And uh, it was the morning after they'd blitzed the docks. Oh, yeah. And all I can remember seeing, looking over London, just bright red, and I thought, I'm sure London's burning. There wasn't, I, I was convinced there was going to be nothing left because it just looked completely red. The toilets were here. I mean, there was a toilet here, and then you came through the door, and there was, there was a, 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 a toy, three toilets here, uh, but the windows were small, so you wouldn't see through the windows right. because they were, yeah, they were just, the just little windows, you see, yeah. in the toilets. But definitely three. <laughs> and of course next to them were the bathrooms. Is that why we've got frosted glass on these, do you think? Mm. Yeah, I don't know, but th there was there were two bathrooms, two two actually bathrooms, and they were like screened uh, glass at the top around the top of the of the partition. Oh, okay. There was like a, a glass because he then you could see if anyone was in, sort of thing, you know. Yeah. But um, yeah, there was there was three t two three toilets and two bathrooms. So then this would have been a small corridor here. It was a, there a, was a long corridor. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was a long corridor because you used to look down. Uh, and I tell you another thing: the Kents had a, had had that like a, an alcove because they built a guy for the bonfire night. And they sat the guy outside their back door, <laughs> outside their door, their flat. <laughs> and I came out of the door to go to the toilet, and I wouldn't go down because I could see this feet and legs <laughs> sticking out. And my mother had always said the place was haunted because Charlie lived here. And if a door opened or anything like that, she said, Come in, Charlie. I just be told. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine you should run away with me. So I wouldn't come down to the toilet until somebody took me by the hand and brought me down. So of course it has changed. What I've never seen it like this, have I? No. Wouldn't have seen it like this at no. all. It's wonderful. To see the space, really, you know, you can't imagine that it was a room as this. No. Because you just imagine it as corridors and divided yeah. into flats and you went into a living room. You didn't always go into the bedrooms. <laughs> You went into living rooms, but you didn't go into all the bedrooms. Because if I remember rightly, those stairs have got the lead on them. And we always used to, you know, I often think now, I wonder what they did with that lead that was on the stairs. <laughs> the, st the stairs are exactly the same. <laughs> exactly the same. You go up the stairs and round, yeah. But there used to be a coal house there. But we used to keep our coal. 
Yeah, we used to keep the coal there. Yeah, yeah. yeah but that, that obviously the spool wasn't there. Okay. Uh, I've got a photograph here from the oh, 1960s. I think that was the charm loose. Yeah, I moved away from here in 1947. Right, yeah. So just after the war. So, yeah. This, yeah. I think this is this corner of this room, so I don't know what it was when you were here. Well, it was our, our <coughs> living room. It was your living room. It was just all our living room. These yeah. two the windows. Right. Yeah. Yeah. These two windows, our living room. What was that house being used for then? It, it was flats. Oh, was it? Made into the whole, flats. The whole thing? Uh, the, all this. We right. had the biggest one because there were seven of us. Yes. And so we had the upstairs as well. Uh -huh. But none of the, ups, the upstairs on the front of the house wasn't in mm. use as a right. living accommodation. But... Um, and was that done during yeah, the war? For a common pre-war? No, because I came here... Uh, in uh, oh, oh, when I was two, two and a half, and what, I'm 30, 34, 35. 34, 35, I came here. My right, okay. brother and sister, younger brother and sister, were born here. Ah, okay. Here, upstairs. Wow. They were born right. upstairs. Brilliant. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. No, it was flats for LC keepers and gardeners. Uh-huh. Yeah. Really lovely. A lot of it has changed, a lot of it I wouldn't recognise, but a lot of it I do recognise. Oh, it's been one of the hair about it. It's changed, but it still feels like home. It's absolutely super. It's been lovely.